Why do some succeed and others fail? By Joseph Adon Yuga, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem, South Africa. If it is true that we are given the same power and no one has more power than the others, why is it that some are succeeding in life while others are failing in life? I have proved earlier that God's blessings on Adam, the first man is a blessing on the human race and since all of us were potentially in Adam when the blessing was released, it follows that the blessing is yours as well as mine. This blessing is certain power in every one of us. The power is used by us every day, for many people, the power is used unconsciously. Nothing can be done without the use of this power, sometimes we use it consciously and we see the positive result. This power is within every human being and it proceeds from our minds, through our thinking. We can use it constructively or destructively, we can use it to build our life, health, wealth, promotion, good reputation, success, flamboyant family love life. Or we can use it to destroy our life, get poor health, poverty, stagnation, bad reputation, failure and family full of hatred. The same power that produces wealth in great men is what produces poverty in poor men. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 4:23, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the forces of life. The forces of life are the forces that causes things to be or not to be, it comes from our hearts and minds. When we use the forces destructively we fail or get poor health, but in this same way, when we use this forces constructively, we get blessed with success and good health. Our thought directed positively can get us anything we desire. The forces brought about by our thought is strong enough to get anything we desire. Your thought is God's power inside you which if you use constructively will make you well and wealthy. The constructive use of the thought is to think positive irrespective of what you see or are going through. The destructive use of your thought is to think negatively, lose hope, give up, think that you cannot do it. Think that you cannot get well or live healthy, and you will be bound with doom to failure, poverty and untimely death. The reason the Bible say, let the weak say, I am strong is for the weak not to focus on the weakness of his body but focus his mind on the strength that comes from God. Even when you are weak, when you think strength and speak strength, you will be supernaturally empowered to be strong, this is a never failing truth. Whatever you want in life, good or bad, Wealth or poverty, sickness or health, joy or sadness, the same power is available to bring it to be, and that power is brought to play by how you direct your thought. You have power to succeed, you have power to live in good health, you have power to become wealthy and influential on planet earth and the good news is that it is never too late or too early. You are never too old or too young to use this power. Another good news is that you can begin to use the power right now. You can begin to enjoy the good life right now by simply beginning to use this power constructively. Another important point to note is this, to use the power constructively, you must know exactly what you want in life. You must know what you want out of life. You must be very definite and clear about what you desire, the clearer your desire, the easier it is for you to get it. Failure come when people begin to use their thought constructively without having a definite desire or specific desire. When you focus on one thing today, and another thing tomorrow, you will meet with a certain failure. Constructive thinking cannot work for a man who is wavering between many desires, to succeed your desire must be clear and single focus.